Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If using QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2021 or later, you can use the Receipt Management feature to upload receipts in a PDF or image format, which QuickBooks can then attempt to match to your existing transactions. Note that you should never upload receipts that contain sensitive information like credit card numbers, social security numbers, or health information. You must also ensure your QuickBooks user account is associated with an Intuit account to upload receipts. The receipts can be PDF files or JPEG, JPG, or PNG image files. However, if uploading PDF files, you can only upload one receipt per page. To upload receipts in QuickBooks Desktop Pro, select Vendors, Receipt Management from the menu bar. If needed, then choose to sign in using your Intuit account. After signing in, you will then see the Receipt Management window. Your receipt uploading options appear as buttons at the top of the window. To upload receipt files from your computer, click the Browse to Upload button to launch an Open Files dialog box, which you use to browse for and select the PDF or image files of the receipts to upload. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to finish uploading them to QuickBooks. Alternatively, you can also connect Intuit to a Google Drive account to access uploaded receipts from Google Drive if desired. To connect Google Drive and Intuit, click the Upload from Google Drive button and then follow the sign-in instructions in the pop-up window that appears. Alternatively, you can create a custom email address in QuickBooks to which you can forward received email receipts. Receipts sent to this custom email address then appear for review in the Receipt Management window. To create the email address, click the Email Receipts button to open a Create a Custom Email Address window, where you can then enter a custom name into the Enter a Custom Name field. Note that the email domain is at qbdesktopdocs.com. Also note that after creating the email address, you cannot change it. After entering the new custom email address name, click the Claim button. On the final screen, then select the users allowed to forward email to this email address. Alternatively, to download a QuickBooks desktop mobile app that lets you link it to your company file, take a picture of a receipt in the app, and then review it in QuickBooks desktop, click the Snap on Mobile button. Then click the button for your desired mobile operating system to get the download link for the app for your mobile device. After uploading the receipts, the receipts are then processed by QuickBooks, which may take up to 15 minutes. A message box appears at the top of the receipt management window to note this. You can click the details link here to view the progress if desired and then click the Close button in the window that opens to close it when finished. You can also click the Refresh button to refresh the list if needed. After processing, the receipts then appear on the For Review tab. Information showing if there are matching transactions or not appears within the Match column for each receipt on the For Review tab. To review the receipts, click the Action drop-down at the receipt's right end and select the Review command. If the receipt is matched, then the matched transaction appears at the left side of the window. If this is correct, click the Attach button to attach the receipt to the transaction. The receipt is then attached to the transaction and you can review it on the Reviewed tab if desired. Then click OK in the message box that appears to tell you this. Alternatively, if this is an incorrect match, you can click the Remove Match button and then click the Remove button to confirm removing the match. For unmatched receipts, use the drop downs and fields at the right side of the receipt to enter the correct information if needed. You can then click the Rematch button to attempt the match again with the corrected data. Alternatively, you can click the Save and Add to Register button to save the transaction and add it to the associated account register. Alternatively, if you uploaded the wrong file, 
you can click the delete button and then click the yes button in the confirmation window that opens to delete the receipt. Also, note that you can select the delete command from the action dropdown to delete receipts from the listing on the for review tab if desired. When reviewing receipts, you can click the X button in the upper right corner to close the window without making any changes if needed. On the For Review tab, to perform batch actions on multiple uploaded receipts, check the checkbox to the left of the receipts upon which to perform the same action. You can click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes to select them all if needed. Then click the Batch Action drop down above the list. Then select either Edit, delete, or move to bills. If you select edit, then check the checkbox next to the receipt field to change, and use the adjacent dropdown to select the value to apply to the selected receipts. Then click the save button to save the changes, or the cancel button to cancel them. If you select the delete command, then click the yes button in the confirmation prompt window that opens to confirm the deletion, or click the No button to cancel the deletion. If you select the Move to Bills command, then click the Yes button to move the selected transactions to the Upload Bills window, or No to cancel the move. To view matched receipts, click the Reviewed tab, and then click the View link to open the transaction matched to the receipt. In the transaction window that opens, you can then click the Attach File button in the main tab of the ribbon to open an Attachments window that shows its attachments. Select the receipt in the Attachments window, and then click the Open button to view it. Alternatively, to detach it, click the Detach button. If you need to attach the file again, click the Dock Center button to open the Select Doc Center dialog box, check the check mark next to the receipt file, and then click the Attach button. To close the attachments window, click the Done button. You can then save the transaction if needed, and then close the transaction window. Back in the Receipt Management window, you can also manage which other users can upload receipts or upload receipts and create matching transactions. First, you should ensure you have the desired permission settings for the user created, as shown in the previous lesson titled 2.6 Setting Up Users. To upload receipts and create matching transactions, the user should have access to all bank accounts and registers, checks, credit card charges and registers, customer and vendor centers, chart of accounts, class list, and edit and pay bills. To then add them in the receipt management window, click the Manage Users button. Then click the Give Desktop and Mobile Access or Give Only Mobile Access buttons as desired. Read about the permissions required and then click the Continue button in the window that opens. Then click the Add User button in the Intuit Account User Management window that opens. Then enter their email into the User's Email field in the Add User window that opens. Leave the Basic User choice selected. Then click the Add User button. They will then receive an email invitation at the email address you entered. They can accept the invitation and sign in with their Intuit ID to then have access to the receipt management features within QuickBooks Desktop when they use it later. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.